This is a bit of a lesson in the use of a mandolin. I'm going to make what's probably one of my favorite garnishes, which reminds me of those onion rings you used to buy in a can when you were kids, or those of us who were my age used to buy in a can when we were kids. Medium high heat, shallow frying means we're going to use, I don't know, half a cup of oil, enough so that it's not a film any longer, but we're not completely immersing this stuff in the oil. This is a nice mandolin. It's got this little stand. Um, you hold it with one hand and you do this with another. There are finger guards for mandolins. And I totally recommend that you use one because they will keep you from cutting your fingers. But no one I know ever uses one. And everyone I know has cut their fingers on a mandolin. And it's really, really painful. Um, and you bleed a lot. So you're very careful after that. So we'll do a few, hopefully without any blood whatsoever. If you're deep frying, and you can see this a little bit here, ideally uh, food will go into the oil, sink about halfway to the bottom, and then rise to the top. If it sinks all the way to the bottom, your oil's too cold. If it never sinks at all, your oil's too hot. You, uh, you come back to this and you stir it now and then, and they will naturally separate into rings. And the first part of this process is driving the water out. And then the second process is browning and crisping them. So at the beginning, you can be a little more lax. You don't have to be super careful. And then you'll see it at a certain point, they'll start cooking quite quickly. It's been about five minutes, maybe seven, and we're getting there. We're actually, we're almost done. Nicely brown, definitely separated into rings. And now the all important paper towels. We are done here.